Hey guys, James here, sketching the beast. Hoping everybody is having a fantastic day. Uh, I am recording this at 3 o'clock in the morning. Anyways, guys, haven't had my coffee yet, but I've got plenty of energy. <clears throat> so today, guys, I'm going to be drawing the haunt sketch card for you all. Um, I actually did not slow this one down as much as I usually do because the video would have been way too short. Believe it or not, I put a ton of detail. I feel like I put a ton of detail into this card, and it, it probably has been the fastest card that I've done yet. And, you know, that's something that you're going to expect uh, if you're an artist listening to this and you're watching and, you're, you know, you're just tuning in to check out some sketch card, you know, hints, tips, and all that other stuff. Um... You know, this is something you're going to notice after a while, right? You're going to get more comfortable with drawing sketch cards. You're going to you're going to have better ideas in your head on what you want to draw. Uh, I do believe I had to use reference for this because I wasn't too familiar with the character. I wasn't, well, I wasn't too familiar, uh, you know, recently with the character, I should say. I actually read this comic book way back in the day. I read um, Haunt issues 1 through 5, I believe. I never got a chance to finish the series, <clears throat> and that's, you know, shame on me. But it, it was a great premise. It was a, it's a great comic book. I would recommend anybody to check it out. For those of you who you know weren't paying attention, it, again, this is um, the comic is Haunt, and it's an image comic, and it was drawn by I believe Todd McFarlane, um, Todd McFarlane and Kurt Kilgore. I'm sorry, no, Kurt is the. <laughs> Kurt's one of the characters. Um, Tom McFarlane and Robert Kirk. Sorry. Anyways, uh, it, really great series. I would I, I would really recommend anybody check it out. Um, Daniel Kil Kilgore. Basically, Daniel Kilgore is a well-known priest and brother of the secret agent Kurt Kilgore. And after his brother's killed, he begins seeing his ghost. But when Kurt's widow is attacked, the two merge and become this super-powered haunt, a being capable of controlling ectoplasm. So that's basically what you see, and I kind of try to I try to create that, uh, and you'll see that a little bit later. Uh, you can't really see it too well in the pencil sketch here, but <clears throat> you can you can tell you can make out some details, you know. So um, I had a lot of fun with this card. It was a it was a heck of a lot of fun to draw, and you know I wanted to do something kind of different, and you know maybe blend a little more color into this even though the character himself is mostly black and white grayish um you know he, he's just yeah he's a heck of a he was a hell of a lot of fun to draw i mean it, so take a um, he usually kind of acts a lot like spider-man right his ectoplasm is similar to webbing and you know so a lot of this just stems from uh todd being a huge um, Spider-Man fan, I think, really, a lot of his characters have some Spider-Man inspiration. I mean, if, if, you look, if you look at Spawn cover number one, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of Spider-Man inspiration there. I mean, he did just come off of the Spider-Man uh, run from Marvel not long, but, uh, you know, after he, he left Marvel to start Image <clears throat> with a bunch of other creators. And uh, forgive me if I'm, I'm getting my history incorrect here, but... Um, you know, I, I, all the details are pretty fuzzy. I mean, most of us watch that Todd McFarlane documentary, and if you haven't, uh, and you are an artist or you, you know, you just have an interest in Todd McFarlane, I would definitely go check it out. I'm not sure where you can watch it now. What it did originally premiere on Sci, it did originally premiere on Sci-Fi. You might be able to watch it on YouTube now. I'm not sure, but um, <clears throat> anyways, guys. So, just summering up, you know, check this, check this comic out. Uh, and, you know, obviously stay tuned to see how the sketch card turns out, of course, right? But um, today, so there's not a whole lot I actually have to talk to you guys about today. <clears throat> I, I'm actually kind of killing a deadline here. So I'm, you know, just trying to give you guys some content for the week. So so that, you know, you guys stay subscribed and happy and all that other jazz. Because uh, that's what, you know, I, I want to bring more content to you. And... Um, I'll actually be responding to comments very soon, you know, with, with new videos and all that other stuff. So, you know, stay tuned. I, I know somebody had asked for a Ghost Rider's dog or, or a pet, I guess. 
Um, so that could be really interesting, right? I, I mean, I'm not going to go with the, the horse idea, right? Because, uh, really, I mean, it's been done, right? So I want to do something a little bit different, like, uh, you know, uh, what, if, what if Ghost Rider had a dog, you know, who also ended up uh, turning with him, right? Uh, it's just something like that. <clears throat> so I'm just kind of thinking of that idea and how I want to conceptualize that. On top of that, I got a lot going on as far as, um, you know, projects that I'm working on. I just finished a project where I just digitally colored a Venom piece. And I'm going to ask that everybody, please go check out my socials. If you are, you know, finding me on YouTube or you're not already following me on, on social media, on Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok or any of that stuff, you know, please check that out because I got a lot of really cool content there. A lot of really cool content on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, a lot of the Instagram and Facebook is kind of similar, but you get a lot more with Facebook than you get with Instagram. But you get a you get a little bit extra with Instagram than you get with Facebook. So I, I'm trying to balance out, you know, the different social media. So please follow me on those platforms. I'm also I'm trying I'm trying out Twitter finally. Finally trying out Twitter. <laughs> so I've got three followers. Woo! Um, so I'll put a link down in the description for all my social medias. You can guys can check those out down in the description box there. So please follow me. You know, not only does that help me, if you follow me, uh, it helps you. Uh, and you know, the, the more people I follow, the more, you know, I can do right. The, the goal here is to, um, you know, have enough of a following that I can do a lot more. You guys can ask for me at con. You guys can, you know, do all sorts of stuff. That's you know, a route you guys, you know, would eventually like to see my art take me. I, I would love to see that. You know, comic conventions are awesome. I also would like to announce at this current time, uh, as I'm speaking to everybody, I will be attending uh, New York Comic Con. Unfortunately, not as an artist. I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm high enough on that list yet to uh, you know get in as an artist. But I will be attending New York Comic Con. So hopefully I will see you guys, see you some of you guys there. If you guys recognize me, please feel free to stop me and say, hey, what's going on? Um, you know, sketching the beast. What's up, dude? You know, <laughs> whatever. Um, I, I would definitely look forward to seeing a lot of you guys. If you are, you know, if, if you'd like to stop and chat with me, I, it would be so cool to see people in real life that I, you know, hang out, that I meet and talk with on, on, the, on social media, on daily, you know what I mean? So I look forward to that. They haven't actually announced their their um, official list of people who are coming yet, but I do know a couple of indie artists that are going, so that'll be cool. I'll get finally get to meet some of them. Um, I would consider them really cool people, and you know, hopefully, it'll be really cool to actually meet them in person because they're they're, they're 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 all great artists. So I, I really look forward to that. Um, so to top it off. Please, you know, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit of self promotion here again. <laughs> I apologize, guys, but please go check out the website. Right? Um, I actually, so I'm planning on on updating the website a little better. Uh, it's it's a little bit on the slow side, and for that I apologize, guys. If you if you guys can just be bear with it and be a little bit patient. I mean, it's not terribly slow. I'm don't get me wrong, you know, but uh, I did build the website myself and. You know, I'm just having, right now I'm just having some, I think, compatibility issues. So I'm just trying to work those out when I have some time. But, you know, check out the website. I got new prints on there. I'm going to be having more new prints on there soon. As soon as, um, you know, I can get to those projects that I'm working on. I got a few more sketch cards. You can order commissions through the website. You can order, you know, custom, you can order t-shirts from the website if you'd like. If you would like, uh, if you if you would like to message me on Facebook um, for special orders, I can definitely do that as well. Um, or, you know, you can, uh, you know, you can just order a commission off the website as well. That way it keeps, it's easier for me to track if I have the website keeping track for me. Because <clears throat> I, I do lose track. And for anybody who, who has ever felt that way, I apologize, right? I, I just... You know, being a full-time dad, full-time, uh, full-time IT guy, and a you know part-time artist, it is difficult to keep up. So, and I know I, I talked about that a little bit in my last video where I go over you know how to make time for your passion, right? And and, 
and uh, you know it really does come down to finding a schedule that's going to work for you and sticking to it. It takes three weeks, I believe, to make a new habit and make have it stick for yourself, right? So, you know, it, it takes a while. It's going to be tough the first couple of weeks. It's going to suck, you know, but it's worth it in the end. So I recommend, you know, if you're having a hard time, if you're having a hard time finding time that you need to sit down and kind of figure out what's going to make sense for you, right? What, you know, lay your schedule out. Lay, lay it out on a multi-day, multi-day tier if you need to, you know. So I don't want to talk too much about that. So go check that video out. I will put the link in the top right corner. If you guys want to check that out, you'll see a little pop-up box there. And, um, you know, there will be a link to that video at the end as well. So, guys, you know, <clears throat> hoping you guys are enjoying how this is turning out. The only thing I do want to mention is, is I have to apologize. So I bought a new light for um it's a light and a magnifying glass for my sketch cards so that i can get more detail and actually this is the first one i use this on so you can actually see see it there in the corner and for that i apologize (laughs) um you can also see there i have my uh handy dandy silk uh uh wrap on hand wrap on that helps helps me help me ink and get more fluidity on my lines um, and, you know that mat is, is a smidge on the sticky side so that the sketch cards you know potentially stay that doesn't always happen so you can see it moves around a lot and for that I apologize but um, you know go check those out check us out on social media it'll be it'll be up on social media for you guys to check out as well so guys again uh, please you know Comment down below what you would like to see in future videos. Comment down below if there's anything specific you'd like to see in my studio. If you'd like to give me a tour, give you a tour of how I make art prints, how I, how I, you know, finalize these sketch cards, or what my process is for that, or you know, what the what the actual final look is. I actually do put a covering on these. I spray it with Mod Podge, it gives it a nice little gloss. And uh, that protects the piece as well uh, for you know long-term use, so that they can be displayed and not fade over time. <clears throat> so you know, if any of those things are interested, if are interesting to you, you know, please comment below what you'd like to see, because uh, I'd like to know as well, right? And, and let me know what what are if you're an artist, you know, what are your struggles? What would you like? What would you like me to see, right? Or what would you like to see from? And uh, you know. So, anyways, guys, so if you haven't already, please subscribe to this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you if you dislike it, you don't have to tell me you disliked it. But give me some feedback, for real. I mean, tell me tell me what's up. Tell me what you didn't like about this video. Tell me, uh, tell me that I suck. Whatever, you know, at least give me some sort of context, right? Giving me a thumbs down. It's so anonymous that, like, I don't know what I did wrong. What did I do? So, um, guys, you know, again, comment, comment, comment. So, until next time, guys, I hope you guys all have a fantastic rest of your day. All right, peace.